A time that I remember all my life is uh, when Mandela walking free. That was a, a great moment and a very emotional uh, time for me. I am Yves Michel Dumont. I have been cameraman for 50 years. Since 1972, I have done a lot of different uh, important events, especially when Mandela was released in 1990. Oh. Okay, bye. <clears throat> to be there, to be witness the uh, few steps he did to uh, walk out of this compound and uh, also his speech on a city hall, it was a, a great moment. I must confess, I'm unable to describe my emotions. I was uh, completely overwhelmed by the enthusiasm. Uh, it's something I did not expect. It's part of our job uh, as cameraman to witness things like this. I'm so lucky in my uh, passion. I cannot say it's a job. I feel I never work in my life. Uh, I had the passion. It was um, a great time for me. When the French Canadian asked us to go to South Africa for the opening of the Parliament, because I am French, so I need a, a work permit and a visa as well. I give my passport to the uh, South African Embassy. A few days before the speech of the opening of the Parliament, I got my passport back with the stamps, my visa, and I look on the visa and it was written, uh, release of Mandela plus the opening of the parliament. And I said, my God, it's written on my visa that I'm going to South Africa for the release of Mandela. But nobody knew that Mandela was going to be released. We suspect that during the opening of the parliament, the clerk will mention something about Mandela, but nobody knew. And I said, oh, look, it's written on my passport. That's something. And I, I look at um, my other friends. They, they don't have this on, on their passport either. I said, how come I got this on my passport? And uh, that was very, um, very funny to, 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 to have this on, on a reason to go to South Africa. So I remember that day like it was today. I'm always uh, ahead of schedule, so I don't. Want, I hate to be late. I'm always uh, 15 minutes, half an hour before time. So I told my um, my son, man, we have to go to the residence, uh, Archbishop Tutu residence, very early because I want to have a good shot for the, the press conference. And you know, the press conference for cameramen is a bang, bang, bang. You know, you want to have the best spot, put the tripod at the right place. What I like when I did the camera, and especially on the news, this is one shot. You cannot miss. You have to do one shot and that's it. On the news, the news is gone. Just at the right of the, the gate, it was kind of small, small hill and covered by, uh, by trees. And I said to um, the Abbey shop, I said, maybe we can do it here. And he said, okay, let's do it. So we, we brought some uh, tables, chairs, and I said, um, I, that was very an honor. I said, Mandela is going to be seated on that chair. And I, I decided where Mandela is going to be seated. And so it was, uh, I was very proud of myself almost. And then I put my tripod right in the front of the, <laughs> the chair. And um, then the press arrived and uh, Mandela arrived later on and he sit on the chair. and. Uh, that was uh, how they, uh, I set up the, the press conference. It was the press that never forgot us. And we are therefore indebted to you. And I'm happy to be with you this morning. And in my mind, I want a shot with Mandela walking. And I want, going through my lens, some whist, because the whist is uh, the uh, symbol of freedom in uh, South Africa. Like this, and I say it would be nice if I, I got a shot of Mandela walking and having wrist uh, going through. So I, uh, I decided to, to be behind the crown a little bit with a step ladder, ready to, to go. Then the gate opened and we can see Mandela walking with Willie, his, uh, his wife. All the journalists were there, Count was there, and I was there. And I have that shot, but it was not, not so nice. And, and I said, well, maybe it's not a good shot, but um, 
I was very impressed when I see the, this guy, um, you know, walking and uh, I said, finally, he's, he's free. And uh, I said, maybe even South Africa is going to change. And uh, it was a kind of symbol on the front of me. And uh, to be close to this guy, it was, uh, I was very impressed.